Week 13 of fantasy football season, and here's a few tight ends I have a sleepers this week. The first guy, Tyler Conklin of the New York Jets. So right here, why the sleepers this week off this New York Jet team? Because this offense looked different. I'm not going to jump the gun and say they're going to put up 30 points each and every week, but they're definitely an offense that is serviceable now, and some of these guys are serviceable as sleeper options. So Tyler Conklin, obviously a former Minnesota Viking. This could be a revenge game in a way here for Tyler Conklin, possibly. And the last few weeks here for him, week nine versus Buffalo, one catch, seven yards. Week 11 at the Pats, two catches, 15 yards. And week 12 versus the Bears, three catches, 50 yards. So right here, week 13 versus former team, the Vikings. They give up the ninth most fantasy points to tight ends on the season. And this is obviously a ball game where the Jets could be playing catch up at the nine and two Minnesota Vikings. And right now, Conklin available in 78% of fantasy leagues. And he's a guy who just didn't make it outside the top 12 in my tight end rankings but this week is a sleeper he's definitely a guy i would give a roll of the dice to the next guy jordan akins of the houston texans so right here jordan akins the last couple weeks here he's been getting a little more involved available 99 percent of fantasy leagues and this is another ball game where they're going to be trailing and chasing points most likely here versus deshaun watson in his return to Houston and his return to playing football in almost two seasons. So the last few games here for Aikens, week 10 at the Giants, three catches, 72 yards. Week 11 versus the Commanders, two catches, eight yards. And week 12 at Miami, a monster game, five catches, 61 yards, a touchdown, and a fumble loss. So right now I know Cleveland gives up the fourth least amount of fantasy points to tight ends on the season. But I think Aikens could go out there and once again, like I said, chasing points to put in a decent ball game and the third and final tight end I have as a sleeper this week is Daniel Bellinger of the New York Giants. A Bellinger we know he got injured versus the Jacksonville Jaguars a few weeks ago with the eye socket injury and he's questionable to return this week here but right now he's been practicing limited the first couple days of the week here is Bellinger and he actually had a couple pop games before he went out in week eight with the injury. Week four versus the Bears, three catches, 23 yards. Week five at Green Bay, two catches, 22 yards, and a rushing touchdown. Week six versus Baltimore, five catches, 38 yards, and a touchdown. And then week seven, before he went out in the game with the eye socket injury, one catch, 13 yards. So right now, it's a possibility he could be back, obviously, limited this week. And he was a guy that him and Daniel Jones were starting to build chemistry and build the rapport where he was a decent red zone threat. And we know this giant team needs some guys in the passing game. Pretty much it's Darius Slayton and Richie James Jr., the only guys to note in the passing game. And those guys, you know, aren't that great. And you know they're not going to be that consistent week in and week out. So Bellinger could be a security blanket and a guy in the red zone that he could rely on. And right now available 98% of fantasy weeks. He's definitely a sleeper this week. So that's a few tight ends. I have his sleepers here for week 13 of the fantasy football season.